Uh, thank you, Madam Chairwoman, and good morning, colleagues. Uh, today, we're consider considering 16 bills. First, we'll consider two important pieces of legislation uh, to protect children's privacy and protect children from online harms. Uh, second, we'll consider the Telehealth Modernization Act to extend Medicare coverage of telehealth for two years to ensure patients do not lose uh, vital access to health care services. The legislation also includes important policies to ensure middlemen known as pharmacy benefit managers don't steer patients to expensive drugs as a way to pad their profits, which they are very, very deft at. Third, we'll consider several partisan bills that put safe, quality nursing home care further out of reach for patients and roll back uh, critical environmental protections. Finally, I want uh, uh, to thank uh, Chairwoman Rogers, Ranking Member Pallone, and Congressman uh, Bill Arrakis for working so hard over the past several months to reach a bipartisan agreement to include my legislation, the Innovation in Pediatric Drugs Act, in the markup today. Uh, my legislation brings parity to the FDA's enforcement capabilities by allowing the agency to ensure pediatric studies are completed on time. The FDA does this for adult studies, and it will now do so for pediatric studies. Uh, Representative Bill Rockus will offer an AIMS to add these important provisions to the legislation today, and the AIMS also includes language directing the NIH to dedicate a portion of existing funds to support pediatric research over the next three years. The NIH's Best Pharmaceuticals for Children Act program will be a key beneficiary of that funding to continue its success uh, investigating new uses for drugs after they lose their patent protections. Thanks to this hard work, we've cra crafted the most comprehensive legislation to improve children's access to treatments for cancer and rare, uh, uh, rare diseases in a decade. So this is, uh, I think, uh, congratulations to everyone when this uh, passes. So for all these reasons, I urge my colleagues to vote for the AIMS today so that this package can become law this year. And uh, uh, to Mr. Pallone, I'm, I'm tremendously grateful to you for all you did to reach the bipartisan agreement on the le uh, legislation. So with that, uh, I yield back.